Hey guys, so I'm here to do a demonstration of my Eye Candy Peach 2 and the new Peach 3 is now out but lots of people wanted a review on this and how I like it in comparison to my Oyster and I love it, so here we go. So in the middle is a quick release button that you can lift the handle higher or lower and you just flip it down and pull it down in the middle with the handle to close it shut. It folds very slim and the middle handle is, is can be used to sling over your shoulder if you're carrying it to and from the car. The wheels easily kind of pop out with a quick release button and all four wheels do this. This whole pram with both upper and lower attachments and the carry cot fits in my Skoda Fabio fantastically. So now I'm going to show you the carry cot and the carry cot just easily fits in the chassis very quick and simply. The only thing I don't like about it is the hood clicks up so it goes click 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 to pull it up and click 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 to pull it all the way down and this can potentially wake up your baby, it has woken out but, but other than that um, you know that's, that's the only flaw, the only thing I don't like about it. Inside there are two little hinges which you can release and the whole thing kind of folds really, kind of squishes down so it's again really good to fit in the car and the side hinges go um, kind of fold up so again you can squash it down in the car easily. So this is the main seat unit that comes with the Eye Candy Peach and this is in the colour Sweet Pea. I think they don't know if they make this colour anymore which is a real shame but um, it's you can find it on the internet, it's quite a popular colour and it just slots in the chassis very very easily. Now if you have a smaller baby, you basically just tilt the whole thing back and push up the footrest to make it smaller and then if you have a bigger toddler um, or a bigger child, what you do is you pull the footrest all the way down and kind of pop the inside inside out if that makes sense if, as you can see here so that they've got a lot more leg room. And what you can do to make it higher on the head as well so the head isn't bashing on the kind of um, top of the hood is that you can unzip it with the zip here um, so you unzip the whole thing and then on the side you can lift up the hood so it makes it really nice for a bigger child um, Sebastian is a, a small child as you know but he, his head already touches the top so I have to lift it up and it just means you get a lot more use out of your pusher for longer so it's a quick release button to take it out and turn it parent facing it's very very quick and simple so now I'm going to show you the upper and lower seat units. So this is an all-in-one adapter which I much prefer but the new iCandy Peach 3 is three separate, four separate um, uh, attachments. The only good thing about that pram is that you can have both children parent facing whereas this one you can't have both children parent facing unless you're using car seats. Um, but again uh, it's, it's kind of what you prefer. I have no issue with them both being forward facing I've had two children in it before who have absolutely loved it and not been bothered really. So the lower seat unit is slightly smaller which means that you would need the younger child in the lower seat unit and then the older child in the upper. And again that just slots in very very easily and it kind of it's perfect because it gives you still enough room at the front so that you can access your basket. You do have to pull the um, handle all the way out though to give you enough room to kind of walk and stuff without bashing your legs on the lower seat unit. Yeah, and there at the front you can see, as I said, you can access your basket really easily. If you can hear any funny snoring, it's because I'm actually feeding Albert at the same time as recording this video. Okay, so these are the attachments for the lower Maxi Cozy car seat that I have. You can um, have a carry cot on the upper and lower if you're having twins or two Maxi Cozies on at the same time. So to do this, the only thing you have to do is put the car seat in first before the upper seat unit. So you go ahead, put the car seat in, it slots in really, really quickly and then go and put the car seat on top, uh, the upper seat unit in on top. And I do find as well that this is so much lighter than the Oyster Match with Max, which is kind of very similar, which is what I originally had. But this one is just so much, much lighter. I have no issues getting in shots, doorways, anything like that. I much prefer a tandem. So 
So these are the um, adapters to have the Maxi Cozy in alone. So you just slot those in and then put the car seat on top. The only thing I don't like is it does mean that the, um, the car seat is quite high up. That's the only thing I'm not too keen on. But other than that, um, you know, it's fine. And yeah, this is basically the whole push chair. I, I absolutely love it. A lot of people have asked me to review it because, um, you know, I, I did originally have an Oyster Max and then did decide to sell it, but it's this has been really, really good. It's fantastic if you are planning to have two children um, with a close age gap. And I do prefer tandems to a side-by-side -side push chair. So that's it. If you like this video, please click like, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.